Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. And uh, welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be doing something completely different. A few weeks back, a uh, viewer of the channel called Jez Nash contacted me. He's from the London College of Music and he said he's working on a project to do some sonic recontextualization. And he explained basically what that meant was he's working on a project where he's making music out of motorcycle noises and he wondered if he could come along record some noises that my bikes make and make a bit of music out of it well who wouldn't want to do that so stick around stay tuned we'll go back to the garage we'll meet up with Jez let's make some music so welcome back to the Missing Man Cave this is Jez Thank you, Jess, for coming along. No problem at all. And My for pleasure. your time, this is going to be absolutely brilliant. Okay. <laughs> so can you tell us a bit about what sonic recontextualization is? I can. So um, if you uh, imagine the sound of something, for example, a motorbike engine, yep. it exists in a certain context, and that is that it's on a motorbike and you rev the engine and it makes this sound. Yep. Now, if you change the context around it, i.e. if you take that sound and put it in, say, a pop music production, it takes on another uh, another new meaning. So that's a new context. So you've recontextualized sound, hence sonic recontextualization. Fantastic. So what are we actually going to do here today to do a bit of sonic recontextualization? Well, what I'd really like to do is yep. to make some recordings of your motorbikes, yep. and then um, any sounds that they can make. So that's obviously the engines revving, so exhaust notes, but also things like indicator relays, yep. um, and you know keys rattling, um, you know throttles opening and closing. Any, t even the tiniest little sound. Yep. And we'll gather up as many of those as we can, right. and then I'll take them back to my studio and. Yep. And then I'll arrange them into some kind of a, a sort of a pop music type production. Sounds fantastic. And uh, maybe put some words with it as well. Um, Real. So if you've got any as long fun... you don't want me singing, that's, that's good. <laughs> you Probably you want that either. Singing, I don't know. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. So, should we make some music then? Yeah, absolutely. Let's get on with let's it. Let's get on with it. Right, so let's, should we try a fuel pump to start with? Let's try a fuel do, pump. Do, so. do you want to do? Do you want to like do three, two, one, and then I'll make the noise so you know when it's going to come? Does that work like that? Yeah, I'll just say it? I'll say rolling. Okay. So this is the uh, Triumph uh, Speed Twin fuel pump. Roll in. Wonderful. Excellent. You captured that. Oh, stuff great. Like Excellent. That. Uh, should we do brake levers? And <coughs> yeah. I'll just sort of flick them or something. Okay. Triumph Speed Twin uh, brake levers, clutch levers flicking on and off. Roll in. Great stuff. Okay, right. Uh, what, else? Oh, what about, uh, should we do the fuel cap? Yep. Speed twin fuel cap, rolling. Great stuff. Should we uh, start her up and fumigate ourselves with a garage door Let's closed? Let's do that. Let's we'll do get that. a load of comments about killing ourselves now. Okay, then shall I go behind? Uh, wherever you like. <laughs> Right, a bit of Enfield action then. Yep. Should we do the uh, same sort of thing again? Fuel Definitely. pump and stuff? Mm -hmm. I assume they sound different. Ready when you are. Royal Enfield, fuel pump, roll in. I love that, it's got a little got bit, a bit of, of a reverb on yeah, the end, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, let's do a start up of this one, yeah. shall we as well? <laughs> Wonderful, that's my kick drum sorted out. Excellent, uh, let me just work out where the horn is. <laughs> uh, which one is it? Is it that one? No, is it that one? No, nope, that's the lights. No, nope, that's that. Uh, what the fuck is it? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a loud horn on this, isn't it? The Indians know how to make a horn, don't they? They obviously use it quite a lot, I guess. <laughs> Brilliant. I love that. That's going to be so much fun. That's quite a shrill one, isn't it? Yeah. Jez has had a great idea. We're going to do some key rattling. But <laughs> yeah, they'd pick that up and notice that there's just one key. Not much of a sound, but Not anyway, much of a sound. I'll come in we'll close. We'll give it a try. Okay, Triumph key, roll in. Great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm sure we've got some keys that make some more noise. Okay. Garage keys, roll in. 
Great stuff. And can I do it at a slight distance? Yep, ready? Garage keys, distance, roll in. And then just once like a tambourine. And again. Great. <laughs> Blimey, that was a bit of a challenge, like a tambourine, that's complicated. Right, where should we well, go next? Well, that's what I'm going to use it as, you see. I'm Brilliant. going to use that as a kind of like a tambourine sort of a Brilliant, sound. okay. So we... GS? GS. Right. Yeah. Good. Not much to that, was there? Nope. Okay, I can't even hear it, can you? No. Anyway, we'll see if it starts in a minute. Okay. Uh, what should we do? Uh, horn next? Yep, horn. And again. Do you notice me fancy lights flashing? Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Is, are they Denari? Uh, no, that's the uh, Hex Easy Can that uh, does yeah, that. yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff. Uh, and also, you can make it, you can make the lights, so if you do the headlights three times, you can make them strobe like a policeman, you see. Oh. The cops love that. Right. Yeah, I mean, the cops love it. <laughs> it gets people out there, but it'd be like part, Moses part in the Dead Sea. Exactly, it? that is, it works a treat. Uh, should we do the fuel cap? Yes. Actually, we could do a... Yeah, that's, that's a good one. one. That's a it? snare. Wonderful. Wonderful. Sounds just like a GS. Yeah, indeed. And it is self fun so it has got the quietest fuel yeah, pump. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Yeah, great. It's got, again, a bit of echo there. Yeah, is it almost like a chord there? Yeah, exactly. It's, like yeah, it's yeah. almost a minor seventh chord oh, there I've picked wow. up. Wow, excellent. Uh, anything else we can do here, I wonder? Does the suspension go up and down, and does it make a noise when it does? Andy bouncing on the GS, rolling. We think we're done with the GS for now. I think we're done with the GS. All right, should we, uh, should we go wing then? Let's do wing. Right. Oh, get past. <laughs> done it. Right. Right. Let's uh, see what we can do with this puppy then. Mm -hmm. Right, we've got a few cubby holes and things we can open on yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll start with the standards. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right, which was. Great. Uh, horn? Yeah. It's pretty impressive on this, I'll tell Is it? you. Okay. Yeah. Be wary with your ears. Right. It's like there a freight train. Probably won't be now, but. Uh, Honda Goldwing horn rolling. <laughs> and one more time at a distance. Hey. Rolling. Uh, levers, should we do oh, levers? Levers, first? yeah. Turn them off then. Uh, oh, there's only one lever. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. DCT, also, of course, DCT, yeah. DCT, Right. Lovely sound that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just... Yep. So you got the gist of what we did there, went around the garage, recording various things. So you think you've got enough to uh, go with Yeah, that, I've got Jess? plenty of stuff there. Um, the tedious bit now is going to be editing it all up. 
Um, but then once I've got all that together, I'll be able to um, work the magic with it. I'll be able to map it onto different keys on a keyboard and hopefully make a piece of music out well, of it. Well, that's going to be amazing. The mind boggles as to how hard that's going to be with just a bunch of clicks and words to make some music. But mm. uh, you're confident you can do it? Uh, definitely, yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you again, Jess, for coming around. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I cannot wait to uh, hear what you come up with. Oh, and if people want to see more of your work, where can they do that, by the way? Uh, if you, I've got a YouTube channel. Go on to YouTube and Google up Motormouth. Um, and you'll find my channel and there's an email address on there which is motormouthmusicjamjar at gmail.com and i'll stick those in the description as yeah, well yeah, so perfect. people can find you brilliant yeah. thanks again jez Thank look forward you. to hearing what you come up with so it's about a month or so later since we recorded that piece in the garage of, of recording the bits of noise that the that the bikes make and jez has worked his magic now a little bit of context before we hear what he's come up with he sent me uh, a message here and he said this so uh, other than the vocals everything you hear on this track came from the bikes in your garage each bike has been used extensively you will recognize some of the sounds but also many sounds have been processed quite a bit Okay, uh, the song takes a little poetic license and depicts a bike club called the Missenden Flyers. I like the sound of this. And their journey up to the Super Sausage for a plate of scran. Sounds like my sort of day out. Uh, the song also features a fictitious pub called the Red Line. There is a Red Line in Little Missenden, though the car park is at the front. Yeah, fair enough, the Red Line's a great pub. Anyway, splendid. Alrighty, so um, I did say to Jez that I wouldn't listen to the um, um, track until I actually record this piece, so it's kind of a live reaction. You're gonna hear it for the first time that I hear it as well. So this is generally the first time I've heard this bit of music. I don't know what style it's in, I don't know if it's, uh, rock, pop, country, folk, who knows. Uh, but anyway, let's have a listen together, see what Jess came up with. How exciting is this? That's, that's pretty cool. We don't mind what you ride, be it sports, bike, cruiser or commuter. Classic bag of chopper bomber, cafe racer, street fighter, ADV, trike or a scooter. We're on the four and three, on the bamboo super sausage, the full Monty is an absolute delight. Clutching, one down, open up the throttle, not a cloud anywhere in sight. Sausage, egg and bacon, tea, beans and black pudding, fried bread, tomatoes and shrooms. Changing up the box, getting close to the red line, tin cans choking in the fumes. Weaving and filtering, dodging all the traffic, biking is a bit like having wings. The sound and the power and the danger and the thrill These are a lot of our favourite things We'll all be in the there. car park Round the back of the old red lion The lads and the lasses have their heads and it's tighter for a pass down on the old iron Sunday mornings will be the same about an hour one all through the shires Bit of chat and day, isn't it? We welcome one and all Hey kids, we're the missing the flyers We're cruising down a B-road but the sky is turning dark This wasn't what was forecast on the app Sunshine, dry roads, perfect for a burner. Now it looks decidedly crap. The thick black cloud has appeared out of nowhere. I'm sure I felt a little spot of drizzle. Might have to dismount and don a load of wet gear. Let's hope it's just a bit of superficial. I can feel the pressure dropping. This don't look all that good. I reckon we are in for a soak. What is going on with the great British summer? It's a meteorological joke. Shutting down the throttle, got to slow right down. I can barely see five feet ahead. I don't think I have seen any rain quite like this. I'm wet in places Can't I never knew I had. individual noises, all right. Incredible. 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 Winding on the gas, but something isn't right. Check the dash for an engine warning lamp. No, all good, but what can it be? Cause the bike won't stop misfiring. Some of that rain must have gotten in the engine, damaging the carbs or the wiring. There's a BP ahead and they're all pulling in. Time to stretch the legs and get some super juice. I bet that's what it is. I've been running low on fuel. The sensor in the tanks come loose. Top the tanks off, saddle up and hit the tarmac. Bikes now running like a dream. Giving it the beans and we're all making progress Heads down in the slipstream We'll all be in the car park Round the back of the old red lion The lads and the lasses have their heads And it's time for a pass down on the old iron Take a right out of Buckingham, we very nearly reached our destination.
still in the 30, we don't want to get a flash, so we lay back on the acceleration. Looking forward to the stop so we can all have a stretch and we can also have a catch up and a babble. Two miles to go and I think I smell sausages, me backside's nibble in the saddle. Pull into the car park, over by the bikers, a multitude of other riders here. All right, folks. Walk to walk bikes and a sense of camaraderie, everybody's grinning ear to ear. The scram don't disappoint, a plate full of heaven, served with a mug of Rosie Lee. Yes. Finish up, saddle up, back out on the tarmac, ride safe and ride free. free, free. We'll all be in the car park, round the back of the old bed lion. The lads and the lasses apprehensive and excited for a pass down on the old iron. Sunday mornings won't be the same without a loud one and all through the shires. Come and join the club, you're welcome one and all. Hey kids, we're the missing the flyers. Still in the 30, still in the 30, still in the 30, right nationals. Drop it down a gear and turn and twist the throttle to the stop and motorcycle. Well, that was a toe tapper. What a winner. Well, that's blooming amazing. How, I mean, that well, just sounded like instruments to me, incredible. But if you listen really closely, you can hear bits of the bike in there. So that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Jez. What a brilliant bit of work. I cannot imagine how long that must have taken you to come up with. And I love the lyrics too, fantastic. So that was superb. So something quite different for you there. I think you'll agree. Uh, who knew? Uh, do go and check out Jez's website. Uh, we put the uh, details up on the screen again. I'll put them up now again, uh, and also link below. Check him out at uh, Motormouth, Motormouth, I think it was. And uh, yeah, huge thank you, Jez. I don't know, how, well, I can't thank you enough. I mean, that was just a unique piece of work and I thoroughly enjoyed uh, doing that with you. So huge thumbs up from me. Hope you enjoyed the video as well, folks. So uh, yeah, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Leave any comments below. Love to hear what you think of the music. All right, speak to you uh, soon. Until then, this has been Business and Flyer. Cheerio.